Today I'm going to show you um, Japanese multiplying. It is a nice and easy visual way to multiply large numbers and a background is needed in place value to do this as well. So let's start out with a number. We're going to use let's say 43 times 56. And the next thing you do here is we need to represent each number and their place value. So over here you see I have 43. I'm going to represent it with 40 and 3. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw out some lines and these are going to be my tens. So if I have four lines, four times ten is forty. Then down here I'm going to draw an additional three and those are my ones. So there is forty-three. Next I'm going to draw out the fifty-six. I'm going to do this vertically now and have them intersect at um, the lines are going to come all the way through the red ones. So I'll start up here. There's 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50, and then 3. Now if I were doing this with my classroom, I would have them use maybe pipe cleaners or those uh, I think they're called wiki sticks. They're a little bit sticky. I know the elementary classes use them. Four, five, and six. Now the important thing to remember is all lines must cross when you're going through both the top and the bottom and then the left and the right side. So here's my six, four, fifty plus six. The next thing that I'd have the students do is I'd have them go through and maybe circle or put a color in the background so they can see. The bottom right hand corner is always going to be your ones place value. Your next place value over, which I'm highlighting in orange, is going to be the next place value, which is tens. and then the next one up is your hundreds place value. Now you notice that they go in a diagonal here. If I had a larger number, which we can always show an example of, um, anything that is in the same diagonal pattern would be the same place value. So these are all tens here in orange. And then all we're going to do here is add them up. So let's take a look at the purple here. And we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I see 20 um, parts here that are crossed. However, I know it's the hundreds place, so I need to add the two zeros, which coincide with the hundreds place. Then we will go on to the tens. I'm going to start in this lower corner here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.